This is Doug Perkowski with OC3 Entertainment. I'm going to take you through the FaceFX 2012.1 Unity Pipeline. I've downloaded 2012.1, uh, the evaluation installer, and the Unity demo files from FaceFX.com, and now I'm going to take you through the process of setting up a talking character in Unity. Uh, I've opened up the, uh, the Unity demo file project. If this was your project, you just want to make sure that the import XML actor file is in the editor folder and the FaceFX controller script file is in the standard assets folder. Uh, but I'm going to get a character in here. Uh, I'm going to delete this FaceFX controller and recreate it for you. All right, so I'm going to select my character um, and I'm going to attach the FaceFX controller script to my character by dragging it over. This creates the FaceFX controller script object. Uh, and now I'm going to import an XML file that has all the bone poses for this character. I'm going to select this XML file that was downloaded with the uh, Unity sample files. Uh, because this is an Evolver character with the Darwin default skeleton and the facial bone rig, uh, I can use that XML file. Uh, I don't have to create any bone poses. It's all set up and working for me, which is a nice feature. If you've got uh, your own character, a custom character, or a different skeleton, uh, you're going to have to do a little more work to create that file. I'll talk about that at the end of the uh, tutorial. But for now, I've got a character set up with this face effects controller object that was created that has all of the bone poses uh, that can be driven with curves if I have a proper animation. So the next step is to get that animation in. Uh, I can do that from Maya. So I load up Maya and I've got the script editor open here. I'm going to source the faceFX.mel script that was installed with the evaluation installer. That brings up the FaceFX uh, mel script interface here. I'm going to change the analysis actor which is what uh, does the gesture curves, uh, like blinks and eyebrow raises, uh, to an analysis actor that was downloaded with the Unity demo files. It's in assets, phrase lock demo, analysis actor for Unity demo plugin use. And now I just need to generate the animation. Uh, it's telling me that this is an evaluation version and it can only analyze a certain phrase. Um, okay, I'm gonna analyze an audio file that has that phrase. It, it was installed with the evaluation installer. It creates the phrase locked animation in the default group. And now I just need to save this as an XML file. New in FaceFX 2012.1, I get to save as XML files directly from the plugin, which is nice because that's what Unity reads. Uh, I'm going to save this in the Unity, uh, my Unity folder. I'm going to overwrite the phrase locked.xml file that's there. All right, and now I go back into Unity and import that animation file onto my character. Select the character, assets, import FaceFX XML animations, select the XML file, tells me it imported one animation, that default phrase locked animation. And so now I should be ready to play that animation uh, from script. Uh, to demonstrate that, I just need to have uh, some scripts set up. Um, I can use this phrase lock demo script, provided that uh, this character name is Doug and he's got uh, the pr appropriate audio source with the phrase locked audio. Uh, so now when I hit play, uh, that uh, phrase lock demo script will call that animation that was just generated from Maya. Welcome to face effects. Now I mentioned before that because this was an Evolver character with the Darwin default skeleton and the facial bone rig, uh, we got to take a shortcut. Uh, if this was your own character or a custom character, uh, you need to set up the bone poses that FaceFX is going to drive. Uh, we would do that in Maya. Um, so we've got this, we do that from that same uh, plugin uh, that we generated the animation from. So if we had our, uh, our Jake character up, and uh, let's say we had all of the bone poses that we want to drive set up as keys on the time frame, um, we would just go up to the top where the reference pose is, we export a reference pose where he's in a, the neutral uh, position of the face, and we're going to tell it which bones we care about. And we're going to select all the bones for simplicity. Uh, now we need to define those bone poses. So we would go to a specific frame. Uh, frame 10 has the open bone pose, and I would hit export and tell it, all right, that bone pose is open. I could batch export if I wanted to, all the files 
uh, or all the poses at once. I just need to have a text file like this one that has the bone pose and then the frame number on it. And so that would create uh, um, an XML file or from that I could create an XML file uh, like that Evolver Actor XML file that we used for the Unity but with my own character skeleton and my own bone poses. Uh, so that about wraps it up. There's more tutorials online at faceeffects.com about setting up a custom character uh, but for those of you using Evolver characters in Unity uh, this is a very simple pipeline now that you can save XML files directly from the plugin. If you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to get in touch uh, we look forward to uh, seeing what you guys can do with this.